Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Geeky Script. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of SQL Server on the Windows operating system. And after that, I am also going to show you how you can easily install SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio that is latest version version 20 on the Windows operating system. So do watch the video till the end, I can guarantee if you watch the video till the end, you will be learning a lot of new things and if you still face any issues in middle, you can always comment in our comment sessions, I will try my best to help you. Now to install the latest version of SQL Server and then SSMS, first thing that you need to do is you need to go to favorite browser and to download those two software. So for that, you just simply search over here, SQL Server download and hit enter and this will show you this www.microsoft.com as a first source result. So you need to click on this SQL Server downloads and when you click on that, it's going to automatically redirect to the official site of Microsoft SQL Server. So here you can cancel this. So you need to scroll down and you'll be able to see that our SQL Server is available for both developer and express version. So I'm going to recommend you to download this SQL Server 22 express version. So you need to click on this download button and immediately it's going to download our SQL Server express edition. So installer is already downloaded. Just simply click on that installer in order to install it locally on your system. And here you need to just simply click on install anyway and it's going to ask you for administrative privileges. Just simply click on yes and let's minimize our browser and you can see that our SQL Server Express Edition is rightly launched. So here you can see under installation type we have three options. So I'm going to use basic installation. You can always go for custom installation or you want to download more media. So that also you can do. So I'm going to uh, go with the basic installation. So I'm going to click on that and going to give you a license agreement you can always read this then click on accept agreement and this is where our Microsoft SQL Server is going to be installed which is totally fine if you want to change this location from C drive to some other drive you can always click on browse and you can you know navigate to your uh, drive all right so I'm going to keep it default and click on install and it's going to immediately start uh, downloading our SQL Server and then going to install it locally on your system so you need to have active internet connection for this as it's going to fetch a lot of files from internet and then it's going to install it locally on your system. So give it some time and you can grab some tea or coffee whichever you like because it's going to take some time. So after that I'm going to again come back to this video. So welcome back and now you can clearly see that our SQL Server version 2022 Express Edition is successfully installed and you can see all the connection strings then our log folder then our installation media folder along with the installation resources folder all right so everything is perfectly done now it's time to install one graphic user interface or ssms so for that you have to click on this install ssms and it's going to redirect to the official site of microsoft again so again you can see we have this download SQL Server Management Studio. So this link I'm going to provide right in your description. So you can directly use from our link also to land over here. And once you are here, you to scroll down and you will be able to see the latest version of SQL Server Management Studio. That is SSMS version 20.2 is available to download. So you have to click on this download link and it's going to immediately start downloading our SSMS. You can see it is already started and it is a 485 MB file. Since I have already downloaded it, so I'll cancel this, I'll minimize my browser, I'll go to my download directory and here you can see that our SSMS is already been downloaded. All right, so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to close this SQL Server edition. So I'm going to click on close and click on yes. So SQL Server is installed, so we are closing that and we are going to install SSMS, all right. So just double click on that installer in order to install our SSMS on our Windows operating system and here you need to just simply click on install anyway so let's first minimize our uh, download directory and there you go you can see our SQL Server Management Studio that is SSMS installation wizard is rightly open and the version is version 20.0 so this is where our SSMS is going to be installed which is totally fine just simply click on install so it will ask you for administrative privileges click on yes and there you go you can see it is currently loading all the packages and after that it's going to start installing our ssms again this will take some time i don't know about five minutes i would say so after that i'm going to again come back to this video so we'll come back and now you can clearly see that our latest version of sql server management studio is set up is successfully completed so everything is good now you can just simply click on close 
So now that you know that both our SQL Server along with SSMS all are installed, it's time to launch and write some code. All right. So for that, I need to go to search and type SSMS over here. So that will show you this SQL Server Management Studio under Apps. So this is what you need to open. So when you open that, it's going to launch our SQL Server Management Studio version 20. Now, since I have already installed this SMS previously, so it is telling whether you'd like to import all the previous settings from SSMS 19 or SSMS, or SSMS 18. So don't worry, I, I'm not going to import any of the settings from my old. So I'm going to start it just uh, fresh like you. So I'm going to click on do not import. So it's going to start uh, a fresh version 20 on our system. And you can see that our SSMS is actually launched along with our connect to SQL Server window. So here if you see on version 20, they have made one changes. So that is they have, you know, added this connection security right in our logging page itself. So normally you don't see connection security here. Normally you only see the server type. So you need to provide your which server, then your server name, your authentication type and everything. And then you can, you know, just simply connect and you proceed with your connection. Whereas on version 20 of SSMS, they have added this connection security, just added, you know, layer. All right. So don't worry. I am going to show you how you can, you know, log into a system and how you can start writing code. So I'm going to use on this video as a Windows authentication if you need on how to create a SQL Server authentication. So that detailed video I have already made. So that video you can watch. I'll be providing that link in the description along with that on the I button. So you can watch that about uh, how to use SQL Server authentication. So for now, I'm going to use Windows authentication and regarding the connection security part, you can do a couple of things. One is you can give it mandatory. If you give it mandatory, then it will select this trust server certificate. And then if you click on connect, it's going to you know let you log in to our SQL Server management studio. You can see we are successfully logged in. You can uh, click on uh, this uh, new query window. So that will give you a query window so you can write your code over here all right so that's one way you can log in i'm going to log out again to log out you can click on this you know disconnect icon so when you click on that it's going to again disconnect so now you can see the connection is lost so you can again get back to our login window so for that you need to click on this plug icon so that is again connect to object explorer click on that and it's going to again show you the same connect to server window all right so in my previous time i have used mandatory right so now i'll uncheck this and i'll need to click on optional so you can do this also if you click on optional and then if you click on connect so that also going to let you in to our sql server management studio all right so if you need more you know videos or if you need to learn more about this connection security part how what is this in encryption then what is this trust server certificate and all you can always put a comment in your comment sessions i'll happily going to make a detailed video about this connection security aspect for now you can use this optional or mandatory if you give mandatory you need to select this trust uh, server certificate or if you are using optional then you can uncheck this also you can just uh, optional features that is what you are using all right anything you can do for now all right and if you need a more detailed video you can always comment i'll be happily making another video about this connection security aspect for now i'm going to log in using optional so i'll go to click on connect and we are directly connected over here so here you can see we have a database if you expand this database you can see you have a system database and database snapshots so let's create a new database over here so for that under query window you need to just simply type create database then you need to give your database name so let's give the database name as demo all right so after writing this much if you select and click on execute it's going to start creating our database you can see here it is executing our query so our command completed successfully you can always increase the font size to something like 150 maybe so we have a better visibility now so now if you you know click on uh, database and right click and if you refresh this you'll be able to see the database that we have created demo is properly showing over here all right you can create one more database so let's say you want to create another database called you know players so if you just simply write players over here select this you can execute again you can see executing query and once our query gets successfully 
executed if we again refresh this so you can also click on this icon to refresh so uh, you need to select database first and then you need to click on refresh so here again you can see that about uh, players database is rightly created over here right so now we can write simple code like you can create a table so create table then let's give the table name as cricketers just give a bracket end with semicolon and you can give a couple of column name let's say the column name as name where care you know 50 and you can give one more column name let's say id all right id and id will be of integer type so give a comma so this is our table schema so select this and click on execute and you'll be able to see that our command is successfully executed so our table is rightly created let's insert a couple of values on our table so insert into cricketers and then you need to provide your column name which is id comma name and then values and within values you need to provide your value so let's give the value as one and as id and then name as probably you can give like coli all right so now into you know end with a semicolon and you know to just simply select this and you have to click on execute and immediately can see that one row is affected so similarly you can insert one more data so just repeat the same thing below and instead of one make it two and this time give maybe rohit all right so again you select this and click on execute and you can see one row affected let's say you want to fetch all the details so you can do select star from cricketers and just end with a semicolon and if you select this and if we click on execute you can see that our table result that is id 1 and then name Kohli and then id 2 Rohit is properly fetched whichever data we have installed is properly fetched from our tables cricketers all right so in this way you can easily install latest version of sql server management studio but there is version 20 on your windows operating system and after that i have also showed you how you can you know create your database you can create your table how to insert a couple of record on our table how to fetch that all that i have showed you on this video i have also started geeky syntax channel so here regularly i am posting coding related videos so please do subscribe our geeky syntax channel as well and also if you're interested you can also subscribe our geeky skip blogging channel so that's basically all about this video thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all